My name is Jack Hinton and I studied at Raggett College from 2010 to 2012. The subjects I took at Raggett College were Dance A-Level, English Language Literature A-Level and BTEC Performing Arts. I enjoyed my time at Raggett College, it enabled me to grow as a choreographer and as a performer. Um, during my time at college I created the role Performing Arts Representative in the Students' Union um, team. And from there, I choreographed different pieces, I put on different music events, and it was just a great experience um, to share throughout my years of growing up in my teenage life. So after I graduated from college, I was submitted by Claire Taylor uh, to win an award, um, which was part of the BTEC National Awards Scheme. Um, I was submitted for the Performing Arts Student of the Year, and very luckily I won that award. So I went to the House of Lords in the summer and I sang there and then I was um, awarded to be mentored by Zoe Jackson who at the time was making up her own performing arts business called Living the Dream and it's now gone on to be a very successful business and for the next year I was her mentor E and she was my mentor and from there I was awarded opportunities to perform um, at such things like Westminster Abbey in front of the Queen for Commonwealth Day um, and I got to dance for Richard Branson for a couple of events as well. So the first year out of college was really important because it enabled me to really find myself as a performer, to network in the industry and to just see what is out there as soon as you graduate college and what you can achieve in that amount of time. Yes, yeah, so after that year of finding myself, um, I went to London Studio Centre, I very luckily got onto their course which was a foundation course and that enabled me to work on my technique. I did a year there and I loved it and then after that year I then went on to Bird College um, to fulfil my dance and musical theatre degree um, and I graduated there in 2017 in July and I got a first in my degree so that's really exciting. My time at Ragged College really helped me become the performer I am now because it just enables me the freedom to explore and experiment, um, especially the dance and performing art courses. They just give you so much opportunities and so much variation of technique and um, performance curriculums um, that they really just allow you to grow and just create yourself as a performer. And as I said before as well, I was lucky enough to be given opportunities to be able to choreograph my own dance pieces and to get a sense of what it's like to teach other students and um, to just really put myself forward as a representative of anyone who loved performing arts at that time at Ragged College. If I had any advice to give to students at Ragged College who wanted to pursue a career in dance or musical theatre, I would definitely say research, um, keep, up, keep your passion going, like it doesn't end after once your day at college ends, like when I was at college I would go home and then I would then look up music video styles of dancing or I'd choreograph or I'd like learn songs or I'd like look up the latest musicals in town and I say as well students are quite lucky being around dry gigs as well as being a lovely area you're not that far from London um, so you can go in and you can see the musicals or you can YouTube them so just do your research um, and just keep yourself in the game and just keep that passion going so the highlight of my career so far, I just luckily got off doing a job at the Hammersmith Apollo um, where I got to perform in front of 3,000 people every night and it was for a show called The Christmas Chorus, um, which was created by Tom Fletcher who was the lead singer of McFly um, and in the cast there was himself, his sister Carrie Hope Fletcher who's like a big musical theatre singer, uh, Matt Willis and Harry Judd. Um, both from McFly and Busted and his wife and it was just an amazing and awarding experience um, because the ensemble there was only four boys and four girls and there was a lot to do and that was the real wake up for me that you can achieve your dreams and do what you love doing. Um, I think why I do what I do is because I don't think I can see myself doing anything else. Um, it's something that I've loved to do all my life. Um, and it's something that I hope to always just keep doing because once you find something that you love to do, I think it's important to just keep hold of that because that love and that passion for whatever it is, it's never going to leave you through 
whatever else you go through in your life is always going to stay with you so you've got to also stay with it as well and just keep at it and just allow it to make you happy. So I've been into dancing and singing I think all my life, I've always done it. Um, I come from a military background, my dad's in the army so throughout my life I never really had the luxury to have professional training. Um, so my first sense of professional training was when I did dance GCSE, which was at the Royal Arts Centre and Albert School. Um, and then I straight from there came to Rygate College and then I allowed to work on my technique even more and it expanded my knowledge on different styles and forms of dance, from Arlene Phillips to Merce Cunningham to Lloyd Newson. Um, so I'd say my training did start in the Rygate area. And then from there, I went and did my foundation course at London Studio Centre when I was 18. Um, and then that really gave me a sense of my ballet technique and the fundamentals that I require on the West End. So it's just a case of going to different places and picking up different things and putting it all in one bag and um, doing everything really. <laughs>